my band, PV Underground. Like I said, I started that uh, six years ago. I just started it for fun. I, would just, I just said to some of my friends, yo, let's just get in the studio. Let's all think about what we're going to do. Press record and let's see what happens. And uh, sometimes that's great with musicians because, you know, once we see that red light go on, your mind goes, you're going to mess up now. And that's what always happens. As soon as you see the red recording button go up, you mess up. Anyone do that? No. Wow, you're all perfect. <laughs> um, yeah, I just want to talk about one thing, which is uh, one thing my dad told me. He said to me, because I, when I was quite young, I had all the chops, Dave Weckl and Chambers, they was my favorite drummers, you know? <laughs> technique, technique, but no groove, no geeks. What pays the rent? Groove. Groove, 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 groove. What's the most important thing about a drummer? Groove. In my line of work, being a funk drummer, it's groove. Different in jazz, right? Okay. So excuse me, any jazz players out there that go, man, you're foolish. So, my thing is, groove pays bills, right? If you've got all the chops and all this sort of stuff, it doesn't really impress me. What impresses me is someone who can hold it down and do what a drummer should do. Now, I'm a big believer, especially since producing my own music, I took my head out of just being a drummer. Because, like I said, we sit behind the kit and we just go, yeah, I'm the drummer. But we need to listen. And when I started producing, I really started, I really started hearing other things in music. And I wasn't listening to my drumming, which meant my drumming was doing the right thing. Because once you're only listening to yourself, then the ego takes over. And the ego goes, do a fill here. Do a fill here. That, for me, I went through years of this. Through years of like bass players looking at me like... And singers going... Like, you know, I was just thinking about myself. And... Obviously from producing and producing my own record, it kind of took my head out of just in my own ego. So for me, uh, the most important thing from where I'm coming from is groove. Groove pays my bills, you know. The more groove you have, the more money you have. My dad used to say this to me, he used to go. One pound, two pound, three pound, four pound. So my dad would go, think about that. I'd be like, okay, cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's now, now I'm older, I said, dad. He was right, man, he goes, I know. Dads are always right, that's the thing. Uh, so yeah, guys, I don't know how many, how many drummers are in there today? Okay, quite a few, oh shit. Okay, so yeah, guys, for me, if you want to be a great session drummer, the number one key is groove, groove, groove. No one's just gonna book you for your chops. People are gonna book you for your flair, and go, yeah, I like his groove, he's got flair. That's what I get booked for, you know? So, uh, I just want to say, you know, that's, that's where I'm coming from, is the groove side of things. Uh, is there any questions? We're going to sit there like, no. <laughs> God, you're all badass, yeah? You want no questions or nothing? Any questions? Any questions? Come on, ask me a question, Ron. Do you have albums with you from BB Underground? I do have my album here, yeah. Thanks, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that plug. Yeah, I've got albums, guys, so if you want to check it out. I'm also bringing a drum book out soon with uh, this music here. Yeah, this music. He's got the album. I've only got 20 left, so if anybody wants to come and see me after, we can do some pictures and sign in. But I'm bringing a drum book out soon. My idea was to, uh, basically, my album, which is very funky, I decided to take all the drums off it. I got someone to score out uh, all the drum parts, so you've got like beginner, intermediate, and advanced, so your kids at five years old can play along to this music. It, and my idea with this is, when I was young and I liked Incognito and Level 42 and Earth, Wind and Fire, if I could have got the record without the drums, it would have made my life. So I've done this as an educational package so young drummers can play along to real music rather than kind of MIDI tracks, and, which are fantastic, don't get me wrong, but for me, I'm from a you know, song-based background. So come and see me afterwards and we can talk about stuff. I'm going to do another track. I'm going to slow it down a bit now because I'm getting older, right? <laughs> All right, this is called Play It Right.